Yo, how's it going, YouTube? We just won the playmat tournament for the end of the season. Um, we went undefeated with Bestial Primite. Before we jump into the deck pro profile, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and shout out to the boy Raul Sanders who came up with the deck. Um, I, I was just the pilot today, but this is a very manly deck, 40 cards, and it was great. Uh, beat plants, uh, white Forest, you Bell, and Blue Eyes. So let's uh, jump into the profile. Bistials, we're playing a lot of them. Three Lubellion, three Druze, three Bald, um, three Serenir, and one Magnemut, plus two Regained. We're playing Beast in the side for going first. And this is the perfect ratio. Of course, it's going to be a lot better now with all the new Fiendsmith shenanigans. You're going to be able to hit the Fiendsmith cards a lot better. This wasn't a meta call, it was just a small local um, playmat tournament, but we're just maxing out on bestials as much as we can. Um, we're playing the Black Metal Engine, which are three Black Metal Dragon, one Correct Artwork Darkness Metal Dragon, and one of the new Full Metal Dragon with Max Metal Morph. Basically, the combo is that one Black Metal Dragon is essentially Spheres plus the Omni Negate. So if you can look here, you basically just summon the um, black metal, you make a striker, you get this, you summon this, you banish the striker, you summon this back, you make a seals, and you search for this. This one will basically get this to the hand and shuffle itself back into the hand. And then you can use spheres on the opponent's turn to summon something like a Druze Worm, send the Druze Worm with the trap, get an extra send and an Omni Negate. And this is just off of this. So this is basically the Black Metal package. Um, Chaos Dragons with the, the one of Chaos Space. They are fine as extenders, not incredible, usually side them out for more hand traps. And then the Primite Engine, which is one Alexandrite Dragon, three Load and one Roar. Essentially, this again is a one card Seals. And since we're playing Fallen Valdez, Seals is actually really good in this deck because it becomes two or three more interruptions, which is great. So how the engine works here is that Primite Load will add you the Roar. If you don't control your monster, you can just special summon this from the deck by paying 2,000. Um, otherwise, basically, you just link this into Striker, Reborn with a Continuous, make them into a Seals, and then you have a Seals with one card. Um, and you're basically locked out of special uh, activating the effects of special summon monsters on the field, but this is usually just an extender. It is also really good to make into a Chaos Angel. Um, so this package is just incredible. And it basically gives back every turn. So the Primite Roar has also a graveyard effect where when your opponent normals, you can banish it and then banish a monster that they normaled if it has 2,000 or less attack than your normal summon uh, in your graveyard. So it's an additional interruption. Then again, Fall of Abbas, we're playing four targets for this because Seals plus Fall of Abba is just really, really good. And then we're playing just a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Um, Bestials are sort of hand traps, but we side in a lot more when we go second. This is the main deck, 40 cards. It was actually really good. Just the Chaos Dragons are like kind of crap, but you know, they're fine. One Striker, one Pisty. You do need both because sometimes you're going to run out of this and then you're going to have to um, to use this. One dark, one IP, like the, the god board is so small. It's just Spheres IP regained and bestials. Um, you make it into an SP if you want. Uh, we're playing the bread and butter of the deck, obviously. is It's uh, it's Spheres, bannable card. Honestly, just ban this card. Uh, and Unicorn as well. <laughs> and Unicorn as well. Excellent with IP. Excellent to go into access code. Uh, unusual form of removal getting light and darks out of your hand for a discard. And then the Albas cards, one Albion, one um, Lubellion, one uh, Mirror Jade, and one Furious. It, it's a really, really quality piece of interaction. And then one Chaos Angel, we make this with, uh, um, you know, any Bestial and the Alexandrite or the Light um, Dragon. Uh, you can make it with Albas as well. And then Typhon. Um, this is the x -Rec. honestly, all really good. I think Lina, you could play Lina. If people start playing Fiendsmith around you, Lina is not such a bad take because you usually have lights. Um, Psydeck, honestly, threw this together <laughs> last minute. It's really bad. 
Um, but it has these cards, so they're good. And it also has this card, which is also really good. Other than that, it could be a lot better. It's just like, I was not really sure what to play. Um, so it's like, one beast, obviously you just side out when you go first, and you have a matchup that is correct for beast. You side out one regain, then you, end, you add in one beast. Um, these are just good because Kashira, I was kind of afraid of like Fiends with Kashira. Um, Shifter kills this deck completely. So I was like threatening Roar and hopefully not get shifted with three thrust. Um, that is it. 4-0, small tournament, but the deck is really cool and it's really fun. Give it a shot. We got the play map. Um, I'm really happy to be playing other decks and doing well for some reason. Um, so again, shout out to Roll. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.